In this video, I'm going to show you folders or folder tracks in Reaper. Now, folders are similar to bus tracks, which I showed you in the previous video. We could use them for submixing our tracks into groups, or if we want to organize our tracks together based on what they do. We could think of it as a container for our tracks, or simply put, a folder. So, a project in front of me here with a kick, a snare, a hi hat, a piano, and a synth. Let's hear it. And let's create a folder for all these tracks. Double click down here to create a new track. We'll name it All Tracks. And unlike a bus, we can't have the track down here to create a folder for all these tracks. Instead, we have to put this track above the others, like this. Now, to make this track a folder, just go over here and hit this button. Notice right now it looks like a folder, then it turns to a plus sign. So, if we hit it, it turns this track into a folder, and these tracks are in that folder. Notice the tracks in the folder are indented compared to the folder track. This is the parent, and these are the child tracks. So now, we can mute it from here, or solo it, or change the volume. To control all these tracks at the same time, basically bussing them to this track. And we can also add effects to all these tracks at the same time by putting that effect on the folder. So let's go to our effects. Go to the Reaper effects and choose Rea EQ to add an EQ to our folder. Then we're going to remove all the bands except for one. We'll create a low pass filter. And now we have a low pass filter on all the tracks. Or a high pass filter. We could add compression on the folder, rear comp, and we can compress all the tracks together. And any other effects we want to put on all the tracks at the same time. But we could also have folders within other folders. Let's add another. Let's name it instruments. And let's put it above the piano. And we'll put these two tracks in this folder. Hit the button again. Now the piano and the synth are in this folder. But this folder is still a parent of all the tracks, even this folder and these tracks. So let's create another folder just for the drums. We'll bring it up above the drums. And instead of using the button over here, we could also select the tracks and just drag and drop it on top of this track. And that creates a folder for the track we drag them to. So now we have a drum folder, an instruments folder, and an all tracks folder, which encompasses them all. So we could have folders within folders and as many as we want. And to get an idea, how useful this is 
for organizing our tracks, let's take a look at a bigger project. In this project, we have a drum folder and a bunch of drum tracks, a bass folder with a couple of bass tracks, a guitar folder with guitar tracks, a keyboard folder with keyboard tracks, a lead vocal with lead vocal tracks, a background vocal folder with background vocal tracks, and finally, an effects folder with effects tracks. So each one of these folders is going to behave like a group or a group master, allowing us to control things in broader strokes, adjusting the drums all at once, or the bass, or so on. And we could also collapse our folders to change the track height of the child tracks. For example, if we go up here to this little triangle on the folder track, if we hit it once, it makes the tracks or the child tracks in that folder a bit smaller. So we can still see their names, but they take up much less room. And we can hit it again, and now they get even smaller. So we could do that with each folder. So we could see all the folders on the screen at the same time and work with them as groups our drums, our bass, guitars, and so on. And hit the triangle again to make them bigger. So there's three positions for the folder. Normal size, a bit smaller, and then almost completely hidden. And we can change these states with a keyboard shortcut. Let's go to the action menu, show action list, and go to the filter and type in folder. Then we can choose this action right here. Cycle folder collapsed state. Let's add a keyboard shortcut to it. I'm going to use Control C. And now we can hit that keyboard shortcut to toggle the different folder states. Hit it once, it makes them bigger. Hit it again, medium size. Hit it again, and the tiny. And we could do that with all the folders at the same time. Full size, medium size, or really tiny. And we could also see the folders in our mixer. Let's view our mixer. And right now, we see all the tracks at the same time. Here's our folders. And notice these tracks are indented compared to the folder, letting us know these are child tracks and these are folder tracks. But we can decide if we see the folders in the mixer. Just right click over here and unselect Show Folders, and that hides all the folder tracks. So we just see the individual tracks. We can put them back, and we can also hide the tracks that are in folders. So now we only see our folder tracks. So we can very quickly make broad moves with our drums, bass, guitars, and so on, without seeing the other tracks. We'll bring them back and see them all again. And we can also move the folders to the left side of the mixer. Just right click and choose Group Folders to the left. And that puts all the folders over here with the child tracks over here, making it a lot easier to control our groups as folders or faders over here, our drums, bass, guitars, and so on. But at all times, in the track control panel, we're always going to see our folder tracks on top, with the child tracks indented compared to the folder. So that's the folders or folder tracks in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.
tango, boys. Let's go.